Hey good fellas, I'm Samuel Naldi and we are at Style of Zug. While we truly love to collect high-end writing instruments, we also must say that there are some writing instruments that are meant more to be those everyday pens that you just take without thinking too much. So while maybe the limited editions are those pieces that we are very proud having in our collection, maybe we use it for special occasion and special signings. For example, I have a pen of the year Asdex that I used for very important signings. I'm almost afraid sometimes to take it around. And also it has quite a very strong and powerful appearance. If I'm doing, you know, some kind of works in the office, I might really want to take something that is a bit more easy going and today we're going to check out exactly seven of those models that are easy going but absolutely cool and extremely well made. You know that here at Style of Zug we only carry writing instruments that I think are totally worth it. Like I was saying there are everyday pens that are perfect everyday pens because of the materialization, the weight, the unpretentiousness and I mean sometimes also because of the price tag. And when you're looking for an everyday carry you also want to make sure that you can open it up quite fast that the ink flow is kind of guaranteed so that it doesn't dry out too fast and this writing instrument here that we have selected are all of the things that you wish in a pen that you're gonna use every single day. If you are a watch collector and you're watching right now, I guess that you're not wearing your high complication Patek Breguet on a daily basis. You probably have your everyday watch that might be an Omega Speedmaster, Seamaster, a Rolex GMT Master, an IWC Portofino or Portuguese. Or to make another example, you're probably not gonna take your supercar, your hypercar out every single day. If you have a Ferrari, you have a Koenigsegg, you have a Bugatti, then you're going to pull out those cars on specific days while you have your Audi, you have your Porsche, you have your Mercedes, maybe even your Bentley as a daily car. So let's check out this awesome seven everyday carry that I suggest. And we're going to start with the Otto Hut Design 07. You guys know that I love the Design 08, it is my favorite model, but the Design 07 has that size and that balance that sometimes lets me think that it is actually the perfect everyday pen. It's also a converter cartridge, which makes it easier to use. It is fitted with an 18 karat gold nib. It is very smooth to ride with. It has amazing materials. It comes in a variety also of versions. There is the sterling silver one. There is the lacquered one. There is the black PVD. They also did the brown PVD one, which is already completely sold out. This is an awesome everyday writer. Anyone that owns Owns one of those Design 07. It has the same kind of nib that is on a Design 08. It's a number six. It comes in extra fine and fine and medium and broad. So you also have a nice variety of nibs. And at the price point between 790 and 850 Swiss francs, you still have a luxurious writing instrument, a fine writing instrument, but in a price range where it feels good to carry it around. You know, good fellas, that I think that you rather spend a bit more, but have something really valuable, made in a certain way, with a certain conceptual thinking, with certain materials, but then instead of buying 10 pens, you rather buy four or five, but specific pieces. Next model is a very underrated model, good fellas. I'm talking about the Monte Grappa Venetia. Now, what I love about this writing instrument is, first of all, the size. It is pretty much like a Le Grand, a bit longer than a Le Grand. I love this very ergonomic, but then pointy design at the end and the beginning of the writing instrument. Wonderful addition. It's also interesting because it is inspired to a vintage model that Monte Grappa had. And then you have also here a nice number six, 14 karat gold nib. Look at this wonderful fading that goes from the barrel to the grip section and the closing section. Wonderful addition. This is highly, highly underrated, good fellas. It runs for 790 Swiss francs. I think for the quality you're getting, it, it feels like a super solid pen. It's also a converter cartridge writing instrument, so very easy to fill it up. Sometimes cartridge converter are truly a great pick because you can clean them very fast, you can fill it up very fast and you see everything that is happening. You know, I wouldn't snob a cartridge converter writing instrument too much. 790 Swiss francs, Monte Grappa Venetia, very, very nice writing instrument. Then, okay, we go a bit into the obvious. This is my Mont Blanc Meisterstück. It is 
the perfect everyday pen. It runs for about 700 Swiss francs, but it's a piston filling mechanism with a nice shuttered ink window. There's ink now here, so you can't see it too much. It has this two-tone 14 karat gold nib. It comes in a wide variety of nibs. With Montblanc, you also have a free nib exchange within six weeks from purchase, no question asked. Even if you've used the pen, you send it back to Montblanc, they change you the nib, they send you the pen back. The Meisterstück also comes in very expensive versions, but if you want to go for the classic ones or even the classic instead of the Le Grand, there is the platinum plated version, there is the rose gold version, and obviously stay tuned because there is the 100 years origin Meisterstück that is coming out in the next couple of weeks. We are preparing a video for this model. You gotta stay tuned on that. Then, guys, fellas, Graf von Faber Castell Classic. I mean, the amount of materialization you get here of high end manufacturing, also the weight, the size is very good. It is fitted with an 18 carat, also two tone gold nib. It comes also in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, even double broad. It's a converter cartridge once again, but this is pretty much an unbreakable writing instrument. The amount of high-end work that they do on the wood, and then you have the guillotte on the wood, unless if something happens with the writing sensation or with the nib, I never had a single problem with a Grafen Faber Castell writing instrument. I mean, this writing instrument are really undestroyable, so if you're looking for a very reliable pen that you want to have as an everyday carry, you definitely have to consider Consider the Graf von Faber Castell. It runs somewhere between 620 and 695 Swiss francs. It is available in Ebony, in Grenadilla, in Pernambuco. There is also the Black Edition one with Macassar. So there is also a nice variety of models of wood colors, also of metal trims color with the black PVD. And therefore, I can guarantee that you'll never regret having a Graf von Faber Castell Classic. And it's gonna be one of the pens that you're really gonna look forward to use every single day. I'm ready to move on to the next three wonderful everyday carry but before I do so why don't you consider subscribing to the channel it's totally free and you're not gonna miss out on awesome content that is coming up in the next days weeks months and years thank you so much for subscribing and welcome to this amazing community of good fellas next one how could I not include the wonderful sailor 1911 Rialo whether you want to go for the maroon one or the black one you have a 21 karat gold nib you even have a piston filling mechanism. I love this writing instrument. It is just a little bit too light. You can still cap it to give it a bit more weight, but I mean, you have everything that you will want to have on this writing instrument. Now consider that on this 1911 21 karat gold nib, you also have a music nib, you have a zoom nib, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, even double broad, and then also these two specialty nibs if you're really looking for a writing experience that is one of a kind. And I mean, all of that at 420 Swiss francs, it is almost ridiculous. Now, if I have to do a comparison, you're spending 420 Swiss francs here, you have a great writing experience, which is extremely important. On the other end, I have to say that the sensation in hand that you get with the Rialo is less exciting than if you're going for the Venetia, for the Design 07 or the Classic or, and even the Mont Blanc Meisterstück. So even if some of these models carry the same kind of materials, they are built different and therefore they feel different. There is more weight and there is another kind of sensation when you're holding the product in your hand. And that's also a very important point. Next piece that I want to mention is something that, you know, it's a classic, an icon, a must have. Every one of you there watching are gonna tell me, yes, obviously, Pelican Souverain. You wanna go for the M1000? Great everyday writer. The only thing you gotta watch out here, if you want a medium kind of experience, don't take a medium nib, take an extra fine nib. These are very juicy and also bouncy nibs, extremely well made, 18 karat gold nib. It's a piston filling mechanism that was engineered back at the time by Theodore Kovacs and then purchased by Pelican. And since then, they've been using exactly this kind of piston filling mechanism. If you prefer a little bit of a small smaller writing instrument, the M1000, then there is equally the M800 that you can consider. There's also the one with the silver metal trims. Also on the M800, you have an 18 karat gold nib. There is an extra fine right here, because trust me, if you write medium or if you write fine, then you will want to have an extra fine nib. This is a bit of a downside because my expectation is if I buy a medium nib that it writes pretty much like a medium nib. Maybe a bit bigger, maybe a bit less bigger, depending also on the model and maybe the country where the nib comes 
from. Here it really is like that the medium is almost a broad to double broad, so you will want to go lower if you go for a Pelican. And then, last piece, Carondage Le Mans, made in Switzerland. Specifically, there is still this Le Mans Terre d'Ambre available. Anyone that is missing out on the Terre d'Ambre, I don't understand it. This is an incredible riding instrument. You have this tornado kind of guillotte on the cab, which is mesmerizing to look at. You have this wonderful green lacquering with a little of perlage inside. They always fit an 18 karat gold nib for their fountain pens. It's a cartridge converter riding instrument with a nice metal grip section, runs for 750 Swiss francs. By the way, the Pelican M800 is 645 Swiss francs and the M1000 is around 890 Swiss francs. But to go back to the Caron Le Mans, it is a riding instrument that has a nice weight, incredible materialization at 750 Swiss francs. You really feel like you have a high-end product in your hand and specifically Le Mans Terre d'Ambre, it's still available right now, but it's a one-shot, it's a special edition. It's gonna be out of stock one day soon and I'm sure that everyone that will join the industry after this edition, they will want to look for one of these because personally I think it's the best Le Mans that Carondage ever did. Everybody at Carondage knows that. I've told them I'm absolutely a number one fan of this model here. Well, good fellas, up to you now to let me know what you think about this everyday carry that I selected here. What do you think? Are these seven very good pens that you can use as an everyday carry? Let me know which one do you already own and are using maybe on an everyday basis. I'm sure that people down below are really wondering to hear your opinion, they're reading. I can read your feedbacks, I can answer to your feedbacks and it's always awesome because every time we're commenting in that section we're speaking with people that really understand and appreciate the art of making fine writing instruments. Thank you so much for watching, stay tuned for more content that is coming up very soon and as usually don't forget that together we are changing the game.